And straight away I thought, holy poop! Like, I like this girl. Yo, Pada fam, what is up? My name is Sam Patterson, and if you guys haven't watched my videos before, this is my absolutely gorgeous girlfriend, Monica. We have been dating almost two years now. It says our anniversary on October, October the 16th. 16th. <laughs> so a lot of you guys in the comments have been asking us how we met, uh, and we thought we'd answer that question today. The month was <laughs> July 2015. One of Monica's best friends is a person called Emmy. And uh, Emmy's actually Australian, but she goes to university in Scotland. Emmy and I met because she came to New York and stayed with me for, I think, like 10 days or something. And yeah, she... And then basically after that, uh, Emmy and Monica decided that Monica was going to fly over to the UK to meet Emmy. Monica booked her flight a few months in advance, and Emmy didn't know that she'd have exams at the time that Monica was flying into the UK. At around the same time, Emmy met me. I invited her to a meetup we were doing in Liverpool. And uh, basically after the meetup, do you want to take over? Yeah, so when it was before the meetup and she oh, was, was like, it? it was like a day before, she's like, oh, I'm going to this meetup tomorrow and she sent a screenshot of Sam's Twitter with his little picture and the username and stuff and I literally thought, I was like, who's that? And she was like, oh, this kid's Sam, I'm like, blah, 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 and like, tell me all about you. And I was like, listen, like, I want that boy to love me, look at that guy, like, I was literally like, so infatuated with like how he just looked. Like I didn't even know anything about him. It was like Tinder without the Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I could have been married for all yeah, you. Yeah, I don't know. I literally just saw his face. I was like, oh my god, like brown hair, brown eyes, perfect facial structure, looks beautiful. Love his name, literally. S silver hair. Yeah. <laughs> British. I was like, that literally is my dream guy. And like I said to her, like, I literally wanted this guy to love me. Please make him love me. Like, this needs to happen. Yeah, she literally, Obviously, she literally not thinking did. Obviously, was going to happen. So I got a Twitter message from Emmy saying that she showed my picture to Monica and Monica said that she wanted me to love her. She um, told you that? Yeah. I've still got the screenshot somewhere. Why do you like me? <laughs> That's so creepy to hear that. Monica and Emmy were Skyping one night and uh, Emmy invited me into the chat and my friend Josh into the chat. I remember we all when started she chatting. Was, when she was going to invite you, I remember I was like, oh my god, okay, like, here we go. Like, this is the moment. Like, get ready. <laughs> like, everyone get ready. Let me just. So we were all like. Let me <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, I was seeing the same. <laughs> So basically, long story short, we started chatting uh, quite often. However, because Monica lives in New York, obviously, and I live in Cheshire in England, uh, we're three and a half thousand miles away and we thought nothing would ever come of it. So basically, Monica booked flights to come over and see Emmy. However, because she booked the flights in advance, uh, she didn't know that Emmy actually had exams, so couldn't go down to London, where Monica was flying into from New York. Emmy couldn't go down to London to meet her. So, uh, do you want to say about the group chat? Yeah, so we had a big group chat with a bunch of people and I remember writing in it, I was like, oh hey, so I mean like my train, yeah, my train gets in at this time, blah blah blah. And my then flight, my flight my gets flight in gets this, and then you're gonna, yeah. yeah, you got a flight into Gatwick or something like that yeah. and then a train to Euston, yeah. didn't you? And then so I was like, the train gets in at this time, blah blah blah, and she's like, I can't meet you, like I have final stuff, I was like, okay, no, it's fine, like I have a, um, I booked a hotel for a few days, I was like, I'll just go to the hotel, like, I really don't mind, I'll explore England, whatever. And Sam was like, oh no, it's fine, like, I'll come meet you. I live in Cheshire, which is about three and a half hours or so from London. Uh, so I put in a group chat, I was like, I never thought I'd actually get to meet this girl, but, like, we've been talking every single day. And, um, maybe something real could happen. So I replied in a group chat and obviously said, I'll come down and meet her. So this was the 11th of October 2015, and I got a train to London as Monica flew into London. And, uh... Basically, I was so nervous. I don't think I've ever been so nervous. I was shaking I was the whole train too. ride. I was literally thinking, okay, like, first of all, I didn't have any service. So I was like, great, like, how am I going to find him? Like, what if he looks completely different in person? Where am I supposed to go? What am I going to say? Like, what's going to happen? And even though we Skyped, like, loads, I was kind of scared you'd be a catfish. Because I was like, <laughs> this is too good to be true. I got there first. And I was really happy I got there first because I do. No, but I wanted thing. to get there first because I wanted to kind of get used to my surroundings, prepare yeah. for you to arrive, kind of thing. <laughs> That's why I wanted to get there first. I was like, all right, so where am I going to stand? How do I stand? What am I going to like? Do I have time to find perfume in my thing? But you have to pay for the bathroom. I was like, I don't even have any pounds or anything. Like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> and then basically. I got off the train and I walked into the center of Euston Station and there she was with her suitcase and I, rem I remember the exact jumper you were wearing. You came over to me, we hugged, and then I was like, hi, oh my god, you're real. You're like, hi. Yeah, I was, I was like, like okay, hi. He hates me. I was like, hi, 
you smell nice. <laughs> but I'm I'm usually like a really outgoing, confident and guy, like, and I froze up completely. And you're like, is the height okay? Like, yeah, I was like, I was like. Um, yeah, I was like, is, is the height okay? Like, meaning, am I tall enough for her kind of thing? Because Monica's quite tall, she's five foot eight. Uh, and I'm just over six foot, so the height was absolutely perfect. I was it? just like, is he, like, not interested? Like, now that he sees me in person, like, he's so quiet. Like, he's usually so, like, hyper on the phone. Like, this is and so I, like, I, like, hugged her, and I was like, you smell nice. After we met, we decided to break the ice and go for some lunch at Nando's, because we were both absolutely starving. Nando's is now our absolute favourite restaurant. However, Monica was too scared to try chicken for some reason. <laughs> no. So she bought Pringles thinking it was a safe option. I chugged away at this big old Nando's, eating this good old Nando's, thinking why is this guy not eating? Why is she only eating I Pringles? I was nervous, like my stomach hurt. I was way too nervous to do anything. I was just like, I can't eat, like I can't do anything, even though I was so hungry. But basically, so we were hungry. talking non-stop, like literally non-stop, and straight away I thought, holy poop! Like, I like this girl. So I tried to I tried to weasel my way in and try to figure out a way I could kiss her because I was so scared to kiss her for the first time. <laughs> and we were lying down on this bench in a park, and um, I just thought, screw it, and I went for it. Let's reenact it. Let's go. I was looking in your eyes, and I kept like looking to your lip, mm -hmm. and I was like looking at your lips and all stuff, and I was just like, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. No. <laughs> Like I said, we met on the 11th of October, we stayed in London together, literally non-stop talking, like I said, inside jokes, like we had a song together, everything. Uh, and on the 15th of October, 2015, we thought, screw it, let's fly to the south of France. So, we flew off to the south of France together, four days after we first met, and uh, stayed there for a night, well actually we stayed there for a week, didn't we? Mm. But after the first night, I thought, I'm going to take her out for an absolutely gorgeous date. Uh, so we went for an absolutely lovely dinner, and uh, we were walking along the beach after. We were asking each other questions, weren't we? Yeah, we played like a question game to like get to know each other. Like those like random like first date kind of things. So Monica said, tell me something personal about you that nobody else knows. And uh, I thought, right, now's my time. And I, I said, I want you to be my girlfriend. I was like... And she was like, what? And I was <laughs> like, I was like, be my girlfriend. No, I didn't say that. No, I, I literally like thought about it for a second. I was like, wait. Like, is he kidding? Like, is this, is this real? I like, I didn't even care how we were gonna make it work. I didn't even care about any of that. I was just like, yes. Like, Heck yeah, girl! A hundred percent, yes. I got the hottest guy in the world, <laughs> hey, hey. So on the 16th of October 2015, we started dating, officially. So after that, we spent a week in South France, flew home to England, uh, and spent a week at my house in Cheshire. After that, we thought, right, we're bored of being in England, so we decided to jet off to Amsterdam. Yeah, random. So we went to Amsterdam for a, for a few days. I really days. wanted to go to Amsterdam, though, just because it falls in our stars. Like, that was literally the yeah, place so, I wanted to go. Yeah, we didn't go to, like, get high or anything like that. We we didn't do any of that. Monica's really I against all of that, so... Um, I just really wanted we went to the, fall yeah, in our stars. We went to the Anne Frank house, and then Monica <laughs> literally did the fall in our stars tour. <laughs> yeah. That's basically it. So we spent a few days in Amsterdam, came back to England again, so we hadn't even been dating a month yet and we've been on two holidays together. And I asked her out in the south of France, which was pretty cool. Uh, and then she finally went to Emmy's house, which is the whole reason she <laughs> yeah. flew to England in the first place. Obviously not knowing that she was gonna go to South France, Amsterdam, and get a new boyfriend by the time she'd see Emmy next. Obviously Monica flew home after uh, she saw Emmy in Scotland. It's Monica's birthday in the next month, which is November the 23rd, and I flew out to New York then. Uh, to see her family and visit her in New York, which was absolutely amazing. I spent three weeks there for the yeah. first time. I remember the first night I got to New York, it was your sister Jacqueline's birthday, so we all went to <laughs> Connecticut, and Jacqueline is terrified of rats. So her family bought a present on my behalf. They bought a <laughs> toy rat for Jacqueline. And I was like, this is the worst first impression for her sister ever. That is the story of how we met and how we started dating, guys. Yeah. That's basically it, isn't it? I wouldn't change it for the absolute world. It's been two years now, well, almost two years. It's going to be two years and on October 16th. Best two years of my life, really. Oh, baby. Anyway, keep the love alive, like, like it, it comment, comment, and, and subscribe, subscribe, and I'll see you soon, Padafan. Peace! Woo!